At this point, Penn State should really just give me a discount on my tuition because I am literally a walking advertisement for them. <laughs> Ring light. Get out the way. Sup, it's Sydney, and today is moving day. I'm not doing well. Last year I was a freshman at Penn State and made a moving video when I was moving into my dorms and now I think that's my only legacy. That's the only reason I exist because that's the only thing that people want to see so here we are again. Since this is my second year at Penn State, I no longer have to live in the dorms so I could choose to try and live in the dorms again and hopefully get a spot or look for an apartment off campus. Yeah. Duh. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Welcome to the College Move-In Vlog Game Show. I'm your host, Sydney. Let's meet our contestants. First up, we have Matthew, the tired high school junior who is not known for his arm strength. Wake up! We need your muscles. My nickname's Noodle. Hey! Then there's Sam, the fresh-faced youngster who recently cut off part of her eyebrow. How's your eyebrow? It looks better. Well, it did grow back. And then there's Pamela, who goes by the title of... My Mom. She's a hard worker and the clear favorite of tonight's competition. I'm just gonna film you doing all the work. Who will win? The answer is... No one, because moving in sucks. Since I'm excited to go back to school, but I'm also sad because I have to leave my family, my brain does this little thing where it doesn't know which emotion to feel, so it just doesn't feel anything. I'm not trying to be emotionally insensitive, people. I'm just stupid. She's really leaving me again. I don't know how you plan to do this. Oh, my God. But no, mm, okay. Hi. Are you sad? I'm only leaving for a little bit, and it's only me. Why are you only blinking out of one eye? They tried to put me on the cover of Vogue. Oh, wait, you're gonna see my toes. But my legs were too long. Every day is leg day. I'm probably not another big box. Just What's a boy, look like who it is. <laughs> Single arm bicep crew. <laughs> She's crazy. Built Ford tough. It's not even Actually, Ford. Is it a Ford? No, it's a Chevy. Chevy. Is it built Ram tough also? Find new roads. Ew. That's so lame. Find new roads. With Chevy. With Chevy. <laughs> and it's Toyota. What? Let's go places. <laughs> Look at her moves. She's so buff. <laughs> Here, your turn. Ready, Sam? Go. Come on, show them your built Ford tough. I can only do one. Come on, Sam. What chairs are actually made for? It's squiggle! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Remember at Spider Man Homecoming, they had like that weird like, jewel things that like the purple stuff? And they like. <laughs> and they put like Spider Man into like the thingy. Ringing the bell. The car is basically packed, but we're all just taking a few minutes in air conditioning while we still have it because my apartment does not have air conditioning. And it also doesn't have power right now, so that's a story for later. Mm -hmm. Pamela was like, it's so hot. And I was like, hmm, maybe it's because you're wearing jeans. So she just went and changed. I don't believe in shorts. Sydney's going to be gone for a long time. <laughs> you seem pretty happy about it. But I'm not. Are you going to steal my room? Mm, to go sleep, yes. <laughs> so yes. Oh my god, wait, wait, let me say bye. Bye, baby. Bye. Have a ride. I didn't vlog in the car because I didn't want to. I was driving and we do not promote distracted driving. Also, there's a sweepy in the car. Also, also, I couldn't see out the back window. Also, 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 there was a fire truck that was following me for the past three minutes and it was really stressful, so whatever. Thanks. It smells weird in here. It smells like carrots. I didn't know that you had to call the electric company at this apartment complex and ask them to turn on your power for your specific apartment. So yesterday we tried calling and they were closed. I'm gonna be living without power until tomorrow, Monday, whenever they reopen. This is the kitchen, awesome. Really glad I have power so I can use all of this, you know. This 
is the living room. It is empty. This is either Emily or Taylor's room, I forget. This is either Emily or Taylor's room, I forget. This is bathroom number one. Glad you can really see it because I have power. This is Kelly's room. This is the second bathroom, which you can really see because I have power. This is my room. Wow, a 10 by 10 box of dreams. I don't know. And this is her mom closing the door saying bye bye. Okay, good. Bruh. Why am I moving in today, you might ask? Um, this is the only time that we could do it. So I'm moving in without power when my mom is jet lagged and it's just not a good time. Yeah, go mom. Woo! Oh my god. I have no idea how this works at all. I don't know how to do this. See, I'm not smart enough to do this because I don't have a college degree yet. Do, 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 do. Ow! That hurt like a budgie on a stick. That was really fun. Teamwork is the dream work. No, teamwork makes, makes the, the dream, dream work. work. Teamwork makes the dream 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 work. That was back to the cheerleading day. Let's never go back. I will see you in a few hours whenever we have everything brought up here because I just I don't have the mental capacity to be filming me dragging things up numerous flights of stairs. Bye. I fell. We successfully moved all of the stuff up into the apartment but we were so sweaty and grumpy and we were all kind of just yelling at each other so we discovered that we were hangry. We drove to the waffle shop and we're gonna get food. Nut. Nut? Nut. Putting ice into it because it's way too hot. That's a sin. Well, excuse me. Fine, I won't do it. I'm going to warm it up, but I'm super hungry. I'm stressed. Also, <laughs> it's pouring down rain to the point where there's a severe thunderstorm warning. I didn't bring my raincoat because Sam promised I me I didn't it bring rain. anything. I saw it wasn't gonna rain, like on the internet. It's yeah. She lied. The internet <laughs> lied. Welcome back to Sunny State College. I honestly cannot see Don't more than two feet in front of road. me. Pull over. <laughs> Just pull over. We're pulled over. <laughs> we can't see. We're at tire town. <laughs> We're back at the apartment now. Don't ask about my appearance. That's what happens when you run outside when there's a severe thunderstorm. And we forgot that we left the freaking windows open because it was sunny when we left. Landlord, if you're watching this, please let me stay. I'll clean it up. Ah, frick. Oh no. She decides to run in the craziest storm ever with a metal table on her roof. And on her roof? On her head, over her head. Give me the key. with a metal table. So I can get the car. I had a purpose. She did. The lady standing next to me goes, did she just run to the car in a lightning storm with a metal table? And I said, yes, yes she did. She's not so smart, is she? And then she was totally judgy to me. I mean, to be honest, it's not like you would get struck by lightning anyways. There were things a lot taller than you. which is the average height of women across the entire world, so suck on that. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. What the hell? What your toe, Pamela? Since it's pitch black, we don't have power, it was storming like crazy, everything is just kind of a mess, we have made the executive decision to stay the night and try again tomorrow because it's not going well right now. We'll see you in the AM. Power company, please turn on my power. Day two! Woo! We're actually not that excited. 
Today I had the lovely pleasure of waking up at 8 a.m. when the power company opened to call them again to hopefully get power and they said that I would have it by tomorrow. So basically we're moving in without power again. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Look at that mattress pad. Look how squishy it is. It's not even on the end of the bed this way. Squish. Look at those two people working and then there's just Matthew. No one is giving me a job. Get here, not beast. Okay. Beast is my beat. beat. I hear here, beast. Sam's been singing Justin Bieber all day, and it's really funny because when she was like two, or no, less than two, honestly, I don't know, she was still in her crib, she used to sing that song whenever she got in trouble. Say, sing, never, sing, never. Say, sing, never, sing, never. Oh, get out. Time flies when you're having fun, which is why this clock is not moving at all. I hope this doesn't fall on my head. The one food item to start off our little pantry cabinet. No one is shocked. The clock just fell and broke everywhere. <sighs> is this bad luck? I don't know. It's still a work in progress, but I think we got a lot done for Sydney. Um, I think the rest of it she can get done on her own. What's wrong, baby? <sighs> I got overwhelmed, and it was because there's a lot going on right now. If you've ever moved, you know that it's kind of stressful to begin with, and then put that on top of leaving your home life and your family and then starting college again which is a lot of work and sometimes a lot of stress your emotions can catch up to you and that is saying a lot because my emotions are usually non-existent but they freaking caught me this time the lesson that i learned from moving in and making this video and that i want to share with you is that sh fucking happens baby and sometimes stuff doesn't go as planned but that doesn't mean that it's worse than what you had planned i made the mistake of having all of these expectations about how the video was going to be how my apartment was going to look all of this stuff and then you couple that with the expectations of the people who are actually watching the video and it's just kind of a recipe for disaster. I didn't want to disappoint any of you because I know that the video that I made last year a lot of people really liked and so many people have been commenting looking forward to this video so when it actually came time to film it any little thing that went wrong just stressed me out even further. But I now realize that it was stupid to freak out about those things in relations to this video because you guys are going to be moving in eventually or starting a new chapter of your life in some other way and you're going to come to realize that, you know, shit fucking happens, baby. I was nervous about this video before when little things weren't going my way, but now I'm kind of happy that they didn't because even though it was stressful, it's more realistic and you take a lot more from it and sometimes just because something doesn't go as planned doesn't make it bad. It can make it funny, like when it was freaking hailing on top of my head as I ran across the parking lot with a metal table. I mean, I could have died, but I didn't, so it was funny. I hope you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, even if it was kind of a huge fat mess, but we have learned to not care about that. That's what we learned. Big shout out and thanks to the fam for helping move me in. I know it probably wasn't number one thing on the list of what they wanted to do. I really appreciate you guys trying to cheer me up when I was feeling down and having a moment slash mental breakdown. Y'all are the best and I'm gonna miss you and I'm not gonna talk anymore about you because then I'm gonna get sad and I don't show emotions, so. Just kidding, I obviously do. I just don't feel like crying again because my eyes are already freaking puffy. If you want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, but that's it. This video needs to end. Goodbye. Love you. Yes.